And I'm sure some people have a magical amazing pregnancy, but I am not one of those people. Okay, so I'm gonna vlog a week of my life in my first trimester. I'm currently 10 weeks and eight days. No, 10 weeks and six days pregnant. So tomorrow I'll be 11 weeks pregnant. If you want to hear a rundown of my full first trimester, then I have another vlog on that with lots of little clips. This is just gonna be one week towards the end. It will be the end of my first trimester, which I thought would be interesting. What I didn't plan for was how awful I feel. And I've been struggling really badly with my mental health. I've got bipolar disorder and PTSD. So the hormones are messing with me. I have been crying basically all morning it's about two o'clock now and all i've done today i went to the gym and i cried <laughs> on the way home when i got home actually this morning before i went to the gym just non-stop crying i've definitely had some low mood symptoms i've also had a huge amount of anxiety they've put me in for an early scan tomorrow i've not seen my baby yet ah i'm so scared they put me in for an early scan tomorrow because i'm having like stabbing abdominal pains there's a risk of an ectopic pregnancy and they've said if the pains get any worse then to go to A&E but there are also loads of circumstances where this can be totally normal and I'm trying to keep that in my head. Tomorrow I've also got my maternity mental health meeting which is great hopefully they should help me a little bit with my mental health. <laughs> I mean we've I've struggled really badly with I've got bulimia as well I'm in recovery but obviously I've had severe morning sickness so really struggled with that the whole way through my first trimester like having really triggering thoughts afterwards and like a loads of shame after I've been sick and obviously it's not been my fault thoughts are still there and I've been struggling and they're, they're too late to help with that hopefully I don't know what else they can help me with but I've got a lot of trauma around a lot of things that are definitely going to come up so some extra support can't be a bad thing yeah and then tomorrow as well I've got my scan and we should find out if everything is okay training during my first trimester so far has been all over the place I'm going to try and show you some of my training this week I feel like I went to the gym today and I feel like it's taken a massive downward turn my fitness has just gone completely and i'm just out of breath all the time i'm out of breath even sitting here like and that is insane to me that i feel like loads of shame around that i feel awful because i feel like i'm not fit anymore and um, i really like one of the most important things to me is to be fit and healthy and able to do stuff and i know we can't always control our health but i have so many negative thoughts when i start to experience a downturn in fitness and i'm just my partner was amazing today and had a word with me and pointed out the fact that no matter how bad my fitness gets i can always come back it will always get better again and i'm not going to be pregnant forever i'm trying to remember that but it's hard and i'm struggling so i hope you weren't expecting a super positive vlog because i have got the worst pick of the symptoms also it feels i mean i don't have hg but i do have quite severe morning sickness i'm not going to show any of that don't worry hopefully it improves <laughs> after tomorrow i've been really trying hard to do some work today i've got loads of programming that i need to do half of my job is like content creator and the other half of my job is online programming so i do programming for individual like one-to-one -one clients and also for groups of people so i've got a gymnastics program i've got a strength and fitness program i've got like squat programs and lots of other add-on programs that you can add on around crossfit if you've got specific weaknesses or programs that you can do completely on their own last week i had a week off work so i'm now behind <laughs> and today i need to catch up on all of my programming and even like my pull-up program i need to add to that as well i've just got so much to do and no energy to do it I've been seriously unproductive today, which is totally fine, obviously, because I'm pregnant, but I have made some soup. It's carrot and chicken, I know that's a bit weird. We had like a roast chicken, well, yesterday, Sunday. <laughs> I grew up on a farm, so I know how to like boil the chicken carcass and get the chicken stock and all the little shreddy bits of meat and then turn it into something, and that's what I've done. And at the moment, because of my morning sickness, there are a lot of foods that I just can't eat, but soup seems to be the only way I can get in whole vegetables. And the roast I had yesterday, that was successful, but I think it was because I cooked the veggies until they were super soft. And this weird thing keeps happening where I have loads more energy like after two o'clock but up until that point i'm just dead so i've got energy now so i'm gonna do the dishwasher finish my soup and then get on with some work martin doesn't get home from work until quite late sometimes so i am just gonna get on with stuff in the house while i have a little bit of energy the house is also a total mess as you can see so i think i'm gonna get on with tidying that up too
finally finished my work for today. It was a lot. And I've got loads more to do in the rest of the week. But I'm going to have some soup and then I'm going to read my book. I'm going to listen to my audiobook. I literally... I don't know why I got this. I think it's because it fascinates me. But I've got a book called The Prison Doctor and I'm listening to it. She basically works in a prison as a doctor had a complete life change at age 40 and works with women in prisons it's so interesting i'm just so into it and i've been trying to find something that kind of takes my mind off everything for a while and i find audiobooks really good when i'm eating too because it helps me stay present it means that i'm not watching something it's really good and after i finish my soup i'll probably just read for a bit i'm on crescent city book one at the moment i don't know what that's called it's on my Kindle. I don't look at the titles. I just click buy next when it comes up and I finished Throne of Glass and went straight on to Crescent City. I'm not loving it at the moment, but it has only just started and I know I've got to give it a chance. I am on like chapter 25, so let me know if you're also a fantasy reader. Right, I'm gonna do my soup. It smells so good. It smells so chickeny. So I've just seen, I've had my meeting with the perinatal mental health team and it went really well. I felt really supported. They went through like all of my history with my bipolar disorder and a lot of like really, my history is really complex and there's a lot of quite severe symptoms in there, but my condition has improved a lot and I've done a lot of work on my mental health over the last couple of years. I am experiencing a little bit of a wobble during pregnancy, but that's also totally normal. They're just going to give me more support around pregnancy and birth and help me figure out what I'm going to do with my medication, which is great. I'm just about to have some lunch and then I've got my first scan. I'm so scared. <laughs> um, I'm really nervous. I'm really scared. I'm hoping that it's going to be fine. But obviously I've got really extreme anxiety. So I'm thinking worst case scenario right now, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be good. We'll see the baby, there'll be a heartbeat. Fingers crossed for me, it'll all be fine. I'm just gonna have some lunch. I'm being such a stereotypical British person, basically. <laughs> all I can eat at the moment is stuff like beans on toast and Marmite crumpets and I've got beans on toast for lunch. It's actually beans on toast with these little sausages, which are like hot dog sausages. I opened the fridge and was basically like dry heaving instantly. This is all I wanted to eat. That's what I've got at the moment. Fed is best and it's really hard to keep myself fed. So if that means I'm eating beans on toast for now, that's fine. And I'm sure there's loads of healthy like nutrients and vitamins in these that I need and my body needs and the baby needs and I will be able to eat more vegetables soon hopefully but for the moment I'm just trying to eat and keep it down I know beans on toast sounds super weird to most Americans but honestly it's delicious and it's not like British people don't eat beans on toast all of the time and it's like a comfort food you used to have when you were a kid and like a lot of people still have now it's like a super quick meal at the moment I am eating a lot <laughs> because it's all I can and want to eat so good though. I also put like cheese in with the beans so it's like cheesy. Oh my god. There's also something about having the food that you're craving when you're pregnant. Like the relief I feel. I think because my body just really needs food but it's just so good. Like it's like the food that I'm craving tastes better than anything I've ever eaten. Oh! I'm just about to leave. I'm so nervous. <laughs> like my heart is racing. Oh, I just keep thinking worst case scenario things. My hands literally shaking. I don't know if you can see the camera moving. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'll update you when I get back. It's gonna be okay. I feel like this is like a life changing moment for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh look. <laughs> My dog's trying to sniff it at the same time. The NHS pictures you get aren't very good, but the bottom one is the most clear. And we actually saw it wriggle around. <laughs> the baby was quite active. I'm in total shock. I just can't believe it's real. <laughs> and then, so I'm also supposed to go to my 12 week scan, which is next week. So I'm heading to the gym this morning. I'm in such a rush though. Martin got up at like 5 a.m. and I went back to sleep and now I'm gonna be late. So I need to run. <laughs>
I enjoyed that, but it made me quite sad at the same time. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my last week of Olympic weightlifting because I'm getting some like pulling sensations in my abdominal region and I can just like feel it. I've had diastasis recti before, I think that's how you say it. The bit where your abs separate from carrying a lot of weight on my stomach. Basically, I'm gonna be super prone to that and I'm trying to listen to my body and my body is telling me that anything that involves <laughs> kind of bracing even now at 11 weeks is not good for me and i know there are plenty of people that go into pregnancy and continue to do olympic weightlifting but for me my priority is looking after my body looking after my baby and trying to like mitigate any damage to my body from pushing myself more than i need to the fact is that i don't need to be training as i've been training before i can still i could do something like front squats or deadlifts or something instead i don't need to be olympic lifting and i also don't want my movement patterns to change because Obviously my body shape is gonna change. I'm gonna have a belly that's gonna get in the way of the bar. And I'm already feeling some things with my ligaments and stuff, like especially with the hormones. I've not been able to snatch since I got pregnant because of the hormones. It's made my elbows feel really loose. <laughs> Next week I'm gonna cut out Olympic weightlifting completely, unless it's like a light barbell. I might leave some of that in or like dumbbells but I'm certainly not going to go heavy on Olympic lifts. And today I didn't even go heavy, I did like 65 kilos and they say it's perfectly safe to go up to like 80%. My 80% would be 80 kilos, so 65 kilos is only 65% and it felt heavy for me and at the moment I'm struggling with my blood pressure, I feel like it like crashes and I just feel really dizzy and like I'm gonna pass out especially if I push it too hard it's just not worth it when we did the workout it was supposed to be burpee hang power cleans but obviously I scaled the burpees I'm not doing any burpees because I don't like the pressure on my stomach I feel like obviously because I'm plus size there's just more pressure on my stomach if I like lie on the floor burpee motion triggers my morning sickness so it's just not worth it so I did deadlift hang power clean so like a deadlift into a hang power clean by the eighth rep i felt pretty exhausted and i started to get that like light-headed feeling and i had to give it a couple of seconds break before i went onto the wall balls and for me the wall balls i'm normally i could do like a set of 30 unbroken and today i broke the 12 up into sixes <laughs> my heart rate spikes so fast i get so out of breath so quickly and very tired very fast and i know that's completely normal for first trimester but i just feel it makes me feel really bad because I'm used to being fit I'm used to being able to hold certain paces and Martin told me off for this the other day because I was feeling really sad because I was on the rower and rowing I can't really do now because it pulls on my abs I was on the rower and I was getting sad because I could hold like a 220 and I, I'm used to being able to hold like a 150 pace and I'm like I can't even get below like 215 and he was like why are you even looking for paces you're literally growing a human like you don't need to be trying to do as well as you used to and for me I know it's because like I could not go at high intensity but still have a really decent row pace but at the moment I've just like my blood supply is going to another another human being inside my body and I'm just not it's not connected yet <laughs> my yeah I'm trying more to think about it and remind myself that adapting is totally fine and it's okay to feel like I'm unfit and like I'm losing my fitness because I will and that's fine and I can always build it all back in eight months time. Oh my God, it must be less than that. I'm 12 weeks next week, which is three months pregnant. What, so I only have six months left? Oh my God, <laughs> that's crazy. Is that true? <laughs> Okay, it's all dawning on me a little bit now. Yeah, so maybe like in six months, like six months is no time. And obviously there's gonna be a load of time that I'm gonna have to build back to even starting training again, which is fine. I'm not one of those people that's gonna rush straight back in. And obviously I'm gonna have a new baby, which is gonna be crazy. Oh, it's such a whirlwind. <laughs> and I'm really happy like now my family know, mine's family knows, and people at the gym are starting to find out as well. I'm talking more openly about it because I've had the scan now and we know that everything's fine, but it's been really hard for the last couple of weeks to not talk about being pregnant and how much I'm struggling with it. Because newsflash, it's not magical and beautiful. It's awful. <laughs> like, if I had this level of sickness at any other point in my life, I would have gone into hospital after day seven of throwing up and having all of the other symptoms that I have. But in pregnancy, they're like, no, that's just normal. <laughs> Like what? And nobody tells you that because they're on social media everywhere they're like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's like magical and amazing. And I'm sure some people 
have a magical amazing pregnancy but i am not one of those people yeah so anyway training's going good i feel like i kind of want to go to training tomorrow as well because it's more endurance and i feel like i can go slower i'll think about that i've had to cancel i was doing a competition <laughs> next year and i'm gonna have to cancel that now which is sad but i'm sure someone else will take my place it'll be fine i'll see you soon because i need a shower okay this is the reality of pregnancy i was gonna go to group tonight because i thought it would be really good i'd i was excited to tell them and also I need to talk to people because I haven't spoken to anyone about my pregnancy and how hard it's been and they would be really helpful. But I ate my lunch and then violently vomited for about an hour and then got so cold, I had to get back in bed and put the heating on. I've now got my massive pizza hoodie thing on. Thankfully though, before lunch, I was massively craving flapjacks. I never make flapjacks and I've made these. They've got like, I put sultanas and some nuts and seeds in them for like a bit of extra nutrients and I've just had some of them and they are the most amazing things ever. I'm so happy. I feel like because they're a bit drier, I might be able to keep them down and I might be able to get some like, just some nutrients into my body. I hope. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go to group now because I'm so tired and I've still got loads of work to do. I still couldn't be a teacher doing this. I don't know how anybody has a full-time job where they work outside of the house. Thankfully, I work from home. I don't know how anyone else copes. I would have to be off work sick. I cannot function at all. I'm going to eat this, try and get some work done and hopefully revive a bit of my energy. It's like the constant battle. I'm going to try and drink enough and then that makes me sick. But hopefully it will get better soon when I'm in my second trimester. So I've just finished filming my video for the day. I've got to do all the editing yet. But yesterday was absolute carnage. I know I was supposed to go to my mental health meeting last night. I think I told you that I was very sick at lunchtime. And then I tried to have my evening meal, which we call tea here. I ate some pasta from Prep Kitchen and it was so good. It tasted so nice. And then I had a couple of like nachos afterwards which i thought was a good idea but then obviously about 10 seconds later i was on the bathroom floor <laughs> i've managed to eat today yesterday i forgot to take my anti-sickness tablets and i thought i was gonna be fine because i thought my morning sickness had decreased a little bit but it hasn't i have taken them today so i'm gonna try and have some lunch and see what happens fingers crossed for me <laughs> i'm well into my 11th week now so i feel like it should start dying down a little bit but we will see Okay, so it's like a pasta. I'm gonna try it. I think maybe if I have it with a little bit of bread, sometimes I have to like remove some of the meat out of it or any of the vegetables, but this pasta has very small chopped up vegetables. So fingers crossed for me. <laughs> well, it smells good to me, which is the first sign it might actually be okay. With some meals at the moment, I instantly know, like they just smell bad and I'm not gonna be able to eat them. And I found pasta has been really good at the moment as well. So it is pasta. This is basically my entire life right now, trying to manage having no energy with trying to eat enough food and also trying not to be sick at the same time. That's literally it. And then trying to fit in work somehow in between that, especially when my sickness is so frequent and almost after every time I eat. I put chili sauce on top of it as well, which makes things a bit more tolerable. I don't know why my body just really wants spice at the moment update the pasta was great but the kind of meat sauce veggie stuff it was a no-go i started to feel it sick after eating some of it and then the toast is also a no-go i had like the first sort of half piece and then i can't have any more <laughs> my dog is really happy at the moment because she's getting all of my leftovers i have to have like i can't have regular water i have to have fizzy water so this is constantly full with fizzy water i don't know what it was but like week three like as soon as i found out i was pregnant and as soon as my sickness started i just knew i needed fizzy water and apparently it's really common with pregnant people but i basically bought like several packs of four like two litre fizzy water bottles and it's all i drink with squash in it every day thankfully i am getting a little bit more nutrients in now if i've been really really sick then i'll eat soup and orange juice i find that liquids tend to stay down but it's just the fiber like even this like really finely chopped vegetables it's just terrible for me i know other people have completely different experiences and my morning sickness triggers are going to be different to other people's mine just seems to be everything at the moment i think so yesterday i had beans on toast and i it's an hour no go i can't have beans on toast anymore it came back up again and i just feel horrendous and i definitely didn't want it today it's a whole roller coaster of like trying to try new things and then things making me sick again so i can't have them it's just such a battle and i really wasn't expecting it
it to be this hard. The rest of my day is gonna be pretty boring because I'm just gonna be sat here at least for the next hour because if I move as well, I'm gonna be sick. It's just, it seems to be triggered by motion. <laughs> and I'm really sorry if I've spoken about it like way too much in this vlog, but this is my life right now. And I don't want it to be not real with you. Like I feel like so many people online say that pregnancy is like so magical and wonderful. And for me, it's not. Like it's really hard. I've really been struggling. And I've watched a couple of first trimester vlogs and hearing the real experiences of people has really helped me. So hopefully someone out there will watch this and know that it, it is hard and it's okay for it to be hard. And it is amazing at the same time that we're growing a human being. And it doesn't make us any less grateful for being able to grow a human being. But that doesn't invalidate our feelings and the fact that this is really difficult. And it's a really hard thing for your body to go through. And I miss feeling as good as I felt like 12 weeks ago. Hopefully the second trimester will be a little bit better for me. I will do a vlog like this, my second trimester as well. If you want to watch the vlog of my whole first trimester, then I've documented that here. And it's also got my pregnancy announcement in it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.